Well, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, was doing some work for a company, uh, doing some transformerless uh, power supply work. They wanted me to take a look at and see if I can do anything with. And I thought it would be a good learning opportunity for those who are just starting out in electronics or maybe don't know what a transformerless power supply is. Basically, what we're going to do is eliminate the need for a transformer like that and instead we're going to use a capacitor like that in its place. I'm going to go ahead and explain this and uh, first of all there are some limitations. Uh, the capacitor type is not going to give you the type of current output that a power supply with a transformer is. And basically this type, this end of the circuit what it is right now is we're just converting the AC to DC so we can regulate it. Basically why we're doing this is they want to keep the weight and size down. They're using a very small box. Anyway, here is the circuit. The uh, AC comes in here. Uh, they're using 120 volts. I'm going to be using 24 volts here just to show you so it's a little bit uh, safer. Although I know it works, I've plugged it in for a few hours. Anyway, this 100 ohm resistor here, 3 watt resistor, they're using it to limit the current coming in here. Uh, the AC comes in through the capacitor. The one mega ohm is basically there too, so when the circuit shuts off, it bleeds down this cap. It's just a safety measure. And from there it goes into this diode here, which takes the negative going voltage off the uh, AC, leaving only the positive. And this is just a crude drawing of what it looks like, but the AC is going to come in here. It'll have its normal positive voltage cycle. The diode will take the negative cycle away, or not completely away, it'll take it to uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts because of the 0.7 volt diode drop. Basically you're taking away the negative before it gets up into this part of the circuit. And from there it's just like any other AC to DC converter. It's going to go through the diode here, charge up the capacitor. And this uh, is a P6KE39, which is a 39 volt suppressor. Uh, this company is using it as a Zener diode, which I'm not overly thrilled with, but they've been doing it for a few years, so it seems to work for them. And when this voltage gets up to 39 volts, this will start conducting, making sure that this circuit remains at 39 volts, doesn't go above it. If that wasn't there, this uh, can actually go pretty high. This can get to 70, 80 volts, especially when you've you got 120 volts over there. So that is uh, basically what that is, and I'll show you. Here how it works. Alright, I've got a voltmeter hooked up. And uh, basically, you're going to go in, measure the voltage, basically right across that zener there, that uh, P6KE39, the suppressor. Plug in the transformer. And there it is, 39.7. Pretty good. Well, that's it for this video, but it's given me a little uh, inspiration to expand on what I've talked about here in uh, another video. I'll do a, bit, a little bit more in depth, a little bit more of a tutorial, show you exactly what goes on with this type of uh, conversion. If you like this video, please give it one of these thumbs up. 
And if it's your first time here, please do hit the subscribe button. Catch you next time.